While most of the U.S. has fallen on relatively hard times, Kansas is enjoying a good amount of economic prosperity. As with other primarily agricultural states, the unemployment rate here is about half of the national figure. In the last 10 years, statewide population has increased by a little more than 5%, and the per capita income has stayed above the national number. In 1980, Kansans averaged close to $10,000 a year, the highest in the Plains region and 14th in the 50 states. What's the reason for the Sunflower State's success? It has to do with the mix of industries that the state has. It has, uh, for instance, the manufacturing component, uh, aircraft, which has been doing very well and had been, has been more stable than in the past when it's had its ups and downs. Uh, its outlook is uh, reasonably good. The uh, other kinds of industries are not very cyclically sensitive. Another positive aspect in the Kansas economy is steady growth. I don't think it will uh, continue to grow uh, you know, at an extremely rapid pace, but it will expand at a pace that uh, will mean, uh, I think, no significant adjustment sorts of problems. Dr. Emerson's major interest is regional economics, and each year he puts together Governor Carlin's report on the state's monetary health. We'll talk with him more as the week progresses. Tomorrow we'll visit Wichita, the state's largest metropolitan area and home of the state's largest industry. Russ Williams, NTV Eyewitness News, on special assignment.